Here's a quick tutorial on how to make music like Seven Lines. So first here I've got my build up and in a lot of Seven Lines songs he likes to have plugs so here I've got two that are layered that sound like this. And I'll show you what one of the layers patch looks like and it's pretty simple just a normal saw wave plug with some filter modulation using envelope one with no post processing just this one EQ. Then I also have a bunch of my drop synths filtering in to prep the listener for what's coming in the drop section. And besides that, all I have are these pads, which are super important. They add a lot of airiness and depth to the buildup, and without it, it just sounds too dry and boring. Now, aside from the melodics, I've got some claps and buildup snares that sound like this. And for the effects, I've got different downlifters, transition elements, and risers. Now onto the drop, we'll start with the drums, which are pretty simple. I've got my kick and snare with some crashes and hi-hats. And I will say one thing that Seven Lions does with his drums is he has his top drums, like his hi-hats and crashes, take over the high end of the overall drops a lot of the times. Which is pretty normal, but I say this because I feel like the top drums can really get overlooked, but they can really add a good crispiness to the top end that you wouldn't really get from a synth or white noise. But this definitely doesn't mean you have to do it, it's just what works for me, and so I would give it a try and see if you like it. I know some producers in the genre like to have their synths or white noise take over the high end, so it's all just preference, and let me know how it goes. Now for the synths, I'll start with my lead, and all I've got is this one layer that sounds like this. Then for my super saws, I have this super saw lead, which is basically just emphasizing certain notes, and I've also got them panned in all different directions. Then for my actual super saws, I actually stuck in some more single note layers in the background, but majority of the sound is coming from the chords. Then I've got my white noise layer. And for those who are learning to mix their super saws, I'd recommend cutting a decent bit of high end out of most, if not all, your drop sounds so that the white noise can really cut through. And most of the time, you don't really need that high end anyways, because audibly it pretty much sounds the same. And a lot of the times, the high end from synths don't sound very good either, just because it has a sort of hissy type of sound that can be pretty harsh for some listeners. So I'd definitely try and cut a little bit out, maybe to around the 8K range. Then next, I've got my bass layer. Then finally, my sub layer. Then besides that, I like to add a gain plug into my drop just to make some random cuts in it and create some cool rhythms. And for parts like this where there's a lot of space, I added some fills that sound like this. And yeah, that's the whole track, so let's hear what it sounds like all together.